Hello everyone, this is Hank. I'm back for another episode. Today we are going to talk about the Adobe Camera Raw uh, color grading. Okay, um, The photo you're looking at was the result of all of our changes um, that we've had thus far, uh, including a color mixer, right? We, um, where we had boosted the yellow, okay, dark and the green. Um, and uh, a couple of other manipulations uh, to get to where we are. Now, at this stage, you know, it's up to you whether or not you want to do color grading. A lot of people don't, but then a lot of people would really love color grading uh, the photo. So that's totally up to you, the individual, whether or not you want to do it. So this... Um, episode here is to show you how to do it if, if you want to do color grading. So first of all, what is color grading and what do you get out of that? So color grading is the ability f for you to be able to set different hue, saturation, and luminance for different light areas of the photo. So here, uh, ACR allows you to change the mid-tone separately from the shadow and from the highlight. So you got control of the three regions of light, okay, where you can change the hue, saturation, and luminance. So, so, so what does that mean? Why do you want to change it? So normally, uh, color grading is the ability for you to put a color cast on just the shadow part or the highlight parts or the mid-tone part and all of them together if you want to, okay? So normally the, the most basic color grading would be uh, changing the shadow to something colder and changing the highlights to something, uh, you know, more warm. And then sometimes you would desaturate um, the whole picture. For example, if, um, if you watch uh, Saving Private uh, Ryan, for example, okay, that whole movie, the, the saturation is set really low. And, and, uh, and the shadow really cold, highlights a little bit warmer. Okay, so it gives you that classic old movie look. Okay. Well, the desaturation is part of the color grading, okay? Even though you can't really do it here very easily, but theoretically you could. Uh, okay, but anyway, so today we are going to just... Uh, I don't really want to change the mid-tone, but if, if I had to change mid-tone just to show you, I would make it just a little bit more yellowy. Okay, and so what I just did is like I move it up so uh, toward the yellow and increase the saturation very slightly so it's almost no effect. Okay, what I'm going to do more of the effect is to change the shadow. Okay, so I'm gonna make the shadow colder toward the blue but as you know, the um, the complementary color for yellow, which predominantly we we've got, is the purple. So it would be more color harmony uh, if you make the shadow a little bit on the purple end, just a just a tad bit. Okay, so. And then um, right now I boost the saturation quite a bit. But, um, okay, so now the shadow is a little bit purple, blue purple. Okay, and the highlights, I want it to be more orangey. Something like that. Okay. Now I'm pushing it a lot so that you can see easily the effect, okay? Normally, this is a little bit too too much overkill, but okay, you get the idea. Okay, so now, um, just just to explain the, the control, okay? 
you got the dot in the middle representing the original state before you do the color grading. Now you move the circle away from it, the farther away of the center, the more saturated it will become. And you move it to different color to change the color, right? So that's a hue. And you move it farther away from the center to increase the saturation. So this one will allow you to change both the hue and the saturation in one fell soup. Okay. So now if if you you just wanted to control either the hue or the saturation, then you have a shortcut key you can do. For saturation you hold down shift key. Okay. Okay. Or you click on here. And then you can only change the saturation. You cannot change the hue. Okay, so that is locking out the hue. Okay, on the reverse, you hold down the control command key for Mac. Then you can only change the, the hue, but not the saturation. Right? Okay, and of course, if you want to reset, you double click on the circle to reset. Okay, and you drag like this, you change both the hue and the saturation together. Now, the luminance is on a different slide. Okay, so you just slide right to make it brighter, size lamp to make it so it, it's just like a kind of mixer. Okay, so you can make it darker. Normally I prefer to be darker for the uh, shadow and a little brighter for the the highlights and that way I increase the contrast of the picture, right? Okay, so let's assume we like this and let's compare before and after, right? Before look like an ordinary picture now it's got quite a mood to it okay um, now let's explore the blending because you can with the blending and the balance you can affect you know which way is leaning toward the cold or the, the warm okay so if you go all the way to the left, okay, then there's no blending of any kind, okay. Um, so it doesn't mix. It, think of it as like a, a feathering, okay. So it's mixing the effect between the highlights and the shadow and the midtone together, okay. Now if you go blending all the way to the left, you're not mixing anything, okay. So. In the opposite, if you go blending all the way up, you're mixing everything together. So it, it seems more seamless, okay, but it can significantly change your photo, the way it looks. Okay, so it's up to you. Personally, I think something just to the right of the middle would be just fine. Your mileage may vary, right? Now the balance is similar except it's on a different scale. Okay, so you go balance, you go over here, you favor the cold, which is a shadow part. Okay, not the cold, but in our example it is a cold because we set the shadow part to the cold. So it, sha uh, it favors the shadow. You go to the right, it favors the highlights. Okay, somewhere in between then it's neutral. But I kind of like it a little bit to the left, like this. And I think it has the most effect of the two. Okay, so you can see from here to there, it's significantly different. Therefore, it significantly changes your mood, depending on what you want. Okay, so that is the effect of color grading, right? To do the muted uh, look, you can you can decrease the saturation individually here 
okay, uh, if you want to, and then you have a more desaturated look. Okay, but I personally don't really want to do that. If I were to do the desaturate this thing, I would go to the light, okay, uh, or the color and desaturate, desaturate the whole picture here if I want to. But right now, um, I call this success if, if color grading is something you like to do. Now, the color grading is, in personally, I think is more needed uh, in a portrait. Uh, it, it could really set the mood there for a portrait, but for a landscape, uh, it's not to the same degree personally. Okay, but but that is basically um, everything you need to know uh, for color grading uh, in a nutshell. Okay, uh, with that, I would like to thank you so much for staying with me to the end. And I would very much appreciate a like from you. If you haven't subscribed, I would love to have a subscription from you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye now.